Hello everyone and welcome back my beautiful people. Remnant 2 has been an absolute blast and I've been enjoying it so much. So I'm gonna show you guys this build that I was cooking <laughs> yeah, boy. before I left and I never posted it. I never posted this build. I, I personally, I don't think it's the greatest build, but it's decent. You, you'll see it shine a few times. It's actually pretty decent. Let me know what you guys think about the build. Let me know if it's trash. If I could add something, make it better. Let me know, but it's like a DPS tank lifesteal build. And we'll jump right into it. I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I put into it. So I put Hunter and Ritualist as my archetypes. And the skills that I use was Hunter's Focus for that extra damage for range damage and Death Wish for that 10% lifesteal and that 50% increase to all damage. Now, the thing about Death Wish is sketchy. Okay, cause you get drained for 300% of your health for over 20 seconds. Okay, so that it's a, that's a big you get some big damage, but the trade off is rough. It really is a death wish. Then as our amulet, we use the full moon circlet because we get that extra life steal. We get another 3% plus, you know, that 25% range damage increase is nice when you're at full health. You will see that shine as well. It does a lot of damage. Then we're going to be using the atonement fold. This ring will self inflict bleed uh, every second. It's going to inflict 1.1 uh damage on bleed on your health that was kind of weird how i said that plus you get another five percent but the reason we're going to self-inflict bleed is because we're going to be using the alchemy stone which gives us another six percent life steal when suffering from a blight or a status effect so there we there it is we get another six percent life steal from this ring because of the uh, atonement fold then we have the probability cord to just just get more critical damage because we want that DPS for sure. Then we'll be using the Akari Warband. The Akari Warband is super solid as well. You get some more critical chances, some uh, critical damage, which is nice. And the armor we used was the Leto Mark II armor set. Just use your heaviest armor to really emphasize on the tankiness. Then the main, the primary weapon that we're using is the Nightfall because we want some more of the lifesteal. It has a mod that you can't unattach from this weapon. It's called the Dreadwalker and you get a 10% lifesteal when you're in this state and it lasts for 10 seconds. Plus we're using battery as a mutator because there's a 1,250 mod power requirement. And if you read battery, it increases 20% of your uh, weak spot damage for every 400 mod power spent. So you can see how those two things kind of go well together and just you just dish out so much damage in a short period of time. Then we're using the Krill Axe, but realistically you can use whatever melee weapon. It doesn't matter once again. I'd recommend something with the status effect since you're using Ritualist just to get the most out of this build, but it doesn't matter. Use Krill Axe, use whatever, the spear, whatever you want to use, it doesn't matter. But I recommend, uh, one something that is throwable just so you don't have to like be in its face and you can kind of still dish out a lot of damage because i am using edge lord which gives me another three percent life steal on on my charge melee attacks which is nice then we're using the nebula but you can also use whatever you want if you think there's something better then let me know for sure because i will try it out put it in the comments don't forget but we're gonna use nebula because we want some of that uh, elemental damage because that will help with the life steal so if we're in a situation where we're really low and we can't really aim at the enemy because we're trying to get rid of other things and dealing with other things that that small tick of damage is going to give you a good amount of health and keep you alive throughout this whole thing so that's why it's solid make sure you're running some sort of elements with this plus you're running the ritualist so you'll do more elemental damage naturally all right the relic that you'll be using for this build is the shielded heart on use grants a shield for 100% of max health last 20 seconds or until shield is removed by damage and the relic stones we'll be using is range critical damage range damage and weak spot damage but that is it that is all I ran and then I'm going to show you guys the traits now the traits you know i played around with these i wasn't too sure but we went with affliction and long shot we don't have a choice it's going to be default because we have two uh archetypes that we're running that those are the default ones that they run with we're going to be using fortify to increase that armor effectiveness to the heavy armor that we're running then we're going to be running strong back because when you're running the heaviest armor you will have uh the heaviest role and the heaviest role in this game really sucks so i went ahead and used strong back to have at least a medium role 
Then we're going to use regrowth because regrowth is going to allow us to out heal that ring that's going to put bleed on us because that ring uh, takes 1.1 1 .1, uh, damage from my health or it gives me 1.1 damage on bleed this will allow me to regen my health 1.5 per second so no matter what i will always be able to out heal that then we're using vigor to increase our health pool to make sure we're healthy i'm stuck with these endurance points we're using spirit for the mod power generation since we're going to be using that dreadwalker phase a lot we're going to really need to make sure we have our mod up quite often you can use expertise for the skill cooldown of course because we want to spam death wish and all the other ones then we're going to use bar skin for a little bit of damage reduction to really still emphasize on the tankiness recovery because stamina sucks and siphoner for that extra three percent lifesteal efficacy so i hope you guys enjoy the build if you guys even try it i hope you guys enjoyed the video thank you guys for watching i love all of you have a great rest of your day and, in, and be sure to just it, let me know you know you have some examples at the end of this video so let me know what you think if it's even good i think it's kind of like me you know what i mean it's 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 above mid for sure but we'll see hope you guys enjoy peace out Amazing!
And it's crazy because realistically i'm missing out on so much damage without having that weak like because i'm not hitting any weak spots you know what i mean so realistically like i i'm not i shouldn't be getting damage like that and still just eating it up oh dang oh he, he, he found me up Not too shabby. Not too shabby. 